Thank you for tuning in to Auto E Clinic today. My name is Aaron. This is Michael. What we have in the shop today is a 2002 Volkswagen Passat 1.8 turbo engine code D. What it came into us for was a P0420 code. Can you explain this to us, Mike? The P0420, simply put, is telling you that the catalytic converter is not working as efficiently as it should be according to specification. And the catalytic converter, simply put, burns what the engine does not. Let's go into that a little further. All right, let's check it out. Right now, we're looking at the manufacturer-specific side of the computer. Every computer has two sides, your OBD2 side, generic side, or your manufacturer-specific side. In this case, it's a Volkswagen. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six different codes on the manufacturer, or five, I'm sorry, on the manufacturer side. The very first being the Catalyst System Bank 1 Operation Blow Threshold, which gives you the P0420. We have an engine start blocked by a mobilizer, which is a P1570. We have a random multiple misfire, which is a P0300. We have a cylinder 4 misfire, which is a P0304. And we have a error in map cooling. Check the temperature sensor and thermostat, which is a P1296. And the only code we have on the OBD2 generic side is the P0420, Catalyst System Efficiency Below Threshold. Now, where we are in the state of North Carolina, this is the only code that will prohibit this car from getting inspected. So this is what we're going to concentrate on at this point. There are a few different ways to test and see if the catalytic converter is good or bad or not. How about explaining that to us, Mike? The way you can always tell is to look at your data from the O2 sensor before the catalytic converter and then the O2 sensor after the catalytic converter. Now that gets a little difficult because each manufacturer has their own specification of what the O2 sensor should be before and after the catalytic converter. So you have to know how to read your data there. On this one we're going to try a easy generic way to test it by using an infrared thermometer and we're going to test the inlet temperature, the temperature coming at the beginning of the catalytic converter against the outlet temperature the temperature out, out of the catalytic converter and we're going to see there should be a difference of uh, the inlet should be cooler than the outlet. The outlet should have a hotter temperature. So let's raise up the vehicle and see what we have. Alright, let's get to it, man. After raising the vehicle up in the air, we determined that we could not get to the catalytic converter from underneath, so we let it back down, threw the hood up, and now we're at it. That was our bad. Okay, the temperature at the beginning of the catalytic converter looks like we hit a max of 427.5. We're going to go to the back of the converter and you can see our max there at 351. That's a pretty big difference but what we should have is the exact opposite. The temperature coming out of the catalytic converter should be about 150 degrees hotter than the inlet versus right here it's 150 degrees hotter at the inlet versus the outlet. So according to this test right here we have a bad catalytic converter. There's 437 again on the inlet, and there's 336 on the outlet. It looks like we have confirmed a bad catalytic converter. 